Hey there everyone, it's Sir Tap Tap. As you might have noticed, I've been updating a lot less lately. I uh, wanted to um, talk to you about how you can actually help me update a bit more frequently. I'm hoping to, you know, update more. Um, I do take suggestions, and I've told some people that I put their suggestions in the list, and they just thought I was BSing them. There is an actual list, and this is not everything that's been requested either, but... You know, I get a fair amount of requests. The problem with most of these requests is that I have no idea of what the games are, and there's some games that make a good Let's Play and some that don't. So I'm going to talk to you about a couple things that you know make a game a better Let's Play. Um, first things first, short games and new games are generally preferred, and not easy games, but games that are easy to start. Like, if I can jump into a game and just start playing it live the first time, that's ideal. Because I don't want to play, you know, a game for two hours before I can start recording, and, you know, then I've wasted two hours before I even start recording. Ideally, I love to spend half an hour or less for one 15-minute video, which, yeah, that's about my ideal. If I can sit down and play a game, uh, blind, or, you know, almost blind, having just played the game for a couple minutes, that is great, because it allows me to give my first impressions of the game, and it allows me to show you what your first experience may b actually be like, instead of showing you, you know, what the game is like after you've figured freaking everything out. Lots of games don't play very well on their first try, and I... In a way, I kind of hate to penalize those games, but those games are penalizing themselves. Um, that's a very bad user experience when your first, you know, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, hour of a game is figuring out what the heck is going on, or if you get stuck for an hour because you're supposed to press Y in this corridor, you know, at this random wall segment, and you didn't know that because you're not freaking psychic. That's not pleasant, and I don't really want to... Frankly, I don't want to share games like that, because games like that are generally pretty stupid. You know, it's not usually the whole game that's bad, but there's one design flaw that makes the game unplayable, and that's not very fun to watch or to record. So, and more importantly is the first impressions. I love being able to give a first impression. Um, lots of developers have contacted me, and... Generally, the videos they love are the ones where I've just gone in, played a game for the very first time, on camera, and they see the stuff I struggled with, they see the stuff that put a smile on my face. It's like a free usability test. And you, know, you get a great insight in, into your product by watching people use it. So that's great feedback, and it's less great feedback if I've already played the game, and I've completely forgotten the design flaws because I've gotten used to them which don't expect your users to get used to bad design make a better design please um but yeah so anything pick up and play it doesn't have to necessarily be easy but anything where i'm gonna be like okay what the hell do i do to get over this stupid wall you know and spend 15 minutes of my time trying to figure out what's going on just don't do that to me please and uh, if you tell me in advance, you know, you can play this game blind and you'll be perfectly fine and you're not lying, that would be great because then I can actually start that game, like, right away. There have been a few occasions where I have been able to do that. I just see a game and I know, okay, I can just play that right the heck now. I'll do one 15-minute video and I'll be done. And that's great because then I have a video out there really quick and lots of times those are really good videos in my opinion like that's how I did um, what's it called that's how I did um, one chance it seemed like a good game to do like that and it turns out it really was and there are also some this ultimate death trap was a fun one but I really love games where I can just do that and just play it. Ow. That's why I shouldn't play games live while you're talking. What a stupid idea. I'll never catch on. 
And I completely forgot what I was talking about. But yeah, if a game is really hard, tell me. If a game you think is easy, tell me. Just tell me the stuff that you think might be relevant to Let's Play in the game. Because, you know, I'm not adverse to playing a hard game, but I need to know that in advance. Because, like, if I find a game and all of a sudden it seems like it's freaking, I want to be the guy. Unless I have some really compelling reason to continue, I'm just going to stop playing. And, you know, I'm not going to feel bad about that. For instance, this game is really hard, but I've played it five or six times now, so I actually feel comfortable playing it, mostly. And it's still really hard. But, um... Yeah, categorize a game if you give it to me, please. That would be very helpful. And... More generally, avoid giving me long games or puzzle games, point-and-click adventures. Um, one category of games I specifically do like are things I can narrate. Like, uh, I like doing the silly voices stuff. Um, but stuff like point-and-click stuff, I've gotten several requests for those. The problem with those is that a video of me messing around with moronic adventure game logic for an hour is not going to be entertaining. I'm just gonna be like, okay, I used the dead fish on the wall socket, and then the refrigerator exploded, so then I have to use the old key on the well. No. Just no. Don't. Those are not pleasant. I've stopped playing those on my own, let alone playing them for an audience. There are rare exceptions that are f almost logical, or they're fun enough or funny enough to be worth it, like Sam and Max. I can tolerate Sam and Max because it's entertaining, not because it's logical, but generally a Flash game point-and-click thing I'm not going to play. And puzzles? I'm not adverse to puzzles, but um, just consider how fun a Let's Play of Tetris would be. Oh, okay, I'm gonna put this block here. Oh, no, that shouldn't have gone there, but I guess I gotta live with it now. Oh, no, that didn't go there. Ah, oh, crap, I got one of those little blocks that doesn't really fit anywhere. No, that's not a good Let's Play either, I'm afraid. I'm not asking you to do all of my work for me, but... Um, the selecting part of the process is really the hard part for me, because I don't actively seek out Flash games anymore. I don't have too much time for that stuff. A big part of why I haven't been updating very recently is there's been lots of stuff going on at work, and family stuff, and, you know, the holidays. So, I've been busy, and I generally don't look for Flash games, even for personal enjoyment, too much anymore. So, if you could help for that part of the step, that part of the process, I can do the making stupid comments and recording videos part of the process, which is the part I'm good at, in my opinion. But that about wraps it up. Wasted eight minutes of your life. That's fun to think about. So, keep that in mind. Keep the requests coming, but let me know what I'm in for. That's, that's the big thing. Ow. See? Like, letting me know there were spikes there. I know there were spikes there. <laughs>